Good day everybody from Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. So we are tent camping one night this weekend at Fort Wilderness. We got our golf cart, we got our free magnet. We're gonna go explore a little bit. Our site is not available yet, so we'll look around while it's getting prepped. So we're getting ready to camp in another week and change for Walk on the Rockville, and we figured we'd come out here, do a dry run for a night, make sure all of our gear is all working properly. We wanted to come out here two months ago for my birthday and stay here, but we ended up staying over at French Corner instead. While we stayed in the cabins before, we've been here a couple times. We are just gonna get the lay of the land here and uh, get our bearings. So you got RV sites on the right, cabins on the left. You got Disney bus stops. You can take your bus to your parks or take it up to the hall. These campsites about to change soon. Disney is about to demolish their cabins here and replace them with newer futuristic looking cabins for Disney Vacation Club. We stayed in these cabins before. I'll put a link to that video up above or down below. These cabins were really super cool. Definitely a unique way to stay at the parks and different in that you can cook your own meals and not be reliant on eating to eat out every night. Mary was just saying while I hit stop that it's very peaceful here also. I love the rustic look of like the log cabins and everything here. It's really a shame to me that they're doing away with this. If it wasn't so pricey to stay in these cabins we would stay in them certainly more often. You can see everybody on some type of transport like golf carts or buses and that's because these campgrounds are pretty vast and it's really impossible to just foot it all over the place. Take a spin into the RV area, one of the RV areas. Blah, 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 blah. They have all different types of space. You can get a basic space, you can get premium spaces. And they are pretty big, so you can get a big guy in here like this. Pull your trailer. Or you can get one. <laughs> you can get smaller guys. Comfort station if you're not using water. It's right back that way. And each of these spots is gonna come with a grill and a picnic table. There's certainly cheaper campsites to camp at all around Disney, but you're on property here. You have your hookups and you're literally right at the parks. It's a playground area and basketball hoop. And a big thing to note, once you get to a certain point, no cars allowed. Passing the Meadow Trading Post. Pioneer Hall, up ahead. While we're out meandering, we got a text that our campsite's ready, so we gotta go back to the start of the park and get the car. All right, we got our campsite, but look at this, we got a little Mickey. Pine cones, that's awesome. I don't see the other sites with Mickey pine cones. They were... We have been blessed by the hidden Mickey gods. This is our campsite preset up here. We got water and you have electric. Picnic table, great, and it's all rocky. We're back to using my favorite gazelle pop-up tent, so we're gonna see how quickly we can pop this thing up. Shoot a little time lapse. So that's essentially it. It literally took less than two minutes or so. We have our campsite set up. We normally have like our table out here and grills and things like that when we're actually camping, but we have dinner plans tonight. So this is pretty basic for our trip here. When you leave our campsite, we're gonna head right over here. Got our comfort station and we have a trash bin right across. Comfort station, only a couple of plots away from us so got one empty space here we could have been right in this space my prostrate would have appreciated, appreciated <laughs> being that close 3 a.m. peas can play a game of tether ball make some bedazzled jewelry and go catch a delicious bass here's a quick spin of what the comfort stations look like bathroom section and shower section 
And they do have an accessible side over here too with your seat. Standard changing areas and shower heads. They do not have any soap, so this is not like staying in a hotel room here. And if you need to use it, they do have a laundry section here as well. Washers, dryers, all pay activated. And there's a soda machine in here. And laundry detergent. And a wash sink here for your clothes or maybe your dishes also. And there's also the much needed ice machine here for two bucks, except this one is out of service. But if you have electric at your site, you could have one of your portable refrigerators with you, like we have at home. We'll continue our journey from earlier. We have potential bad weather coming in here, of course. Uh, this is a construction area and somebody just drove further up the construction area. Yeah. We're not gonna do that? No. Mm, you know, we follow these signs and we don't make videos trespassing on property. By the way, these golf carts go super slow. I'm positive that my scooter and the one wheel both go faster than this. All right, we're up by Pioneer Hall. We've got a trading post up here, a kitty playground, food. This is where Hoop de Doo is. We'll be doing that later. As noted before, it's all golf cart parking up here. No automobiles. Wow, that's awesome. People go all out with their own golf carts. Look at that. I like this. We also have the Gators next to Splash Mountain. It's pretty awesome. So Pioneer Hall, still home of Hoop de Doo. Trails End Restaurant, closed. Trails End is not coming back. They're refurbishing this and relaunching a new restaurant. P&J Southern Takeout still in existence. So if you want things to go, you can still get it to go. Crackers Tavern, still open, just not yet. Opens up at four o'clock. And while they have multiple food trucks here Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, they have one food truck here all the time. I like it. Goofy's Hog Hounds. Fire Rock Geyser, it's a blast. Whispering Canyon, shush. Classic Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, yeah. We have a special burger here, macaroni and cheese. Angus cheeseburger with fried macaroni and cheese and bacon and smoked gouda. Oh my goodness. I know you guys are gonna think I'm lame, but I didn't go burger because we're eating a big dinner later. I'm going fruit cup. And Mary's going grapes. That's where you get the boat to Magic Kingdom. And you can also go fishing here. You can rent the boat. You can go fishing. You can go on a fireworks cruise. These are the kind of fish that are in Bay Lake. You got bass and bluegill and cats and sunfish. These are the boats you can go out fishing on. And there is your water taxi to Magic Kingdom. Or you could just sit here and enjoy the views of the lake. We could play some more tetherball. We're gonna head into the trading post over here, see what they have to offer. Good, how are you? Oh, it smells nice in here, like wood. Corksicles. Hoop de doo. Corksicles are nice. Well, for a world of nice logo. And then these canteens are fun. And you have traditional Disney fare in here and pet stuff, bubbles, raccoon caps. These are cute towels, but they have the 50 logo on it, and I bet they're gonna head to the outlets. And Smokey D Bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Got checkers down there too, and a tablecloth. Ears, ears, ears. And Pooh Bear. Fort Wilderness camp shirt. And this shirt's pretty cool. I mean, denim type shirt. And you can get your snacks here and regular provisions if you forgot anything at home. And beverages, including alcoholic beverages. And they've got firewood. And things to make s'mores, graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. And you can get the Big Daddy camping chair. And this might be the all-time goat magnet. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. We've made our way to the other trading post. 
And across the water right over there is the bike barn. You can rent your bikes, fishing poles if you want to just fish off the dock. Aside from being overcast, it is so incredibly peaceful out here. You have one of their swimming pools over here. This is a look at the Meadows pool. The meadow pool. It has a slide. And there is a kid's splash pad here too. And if you are camping here, you need to bring your own towels to the pool too. There's also a snack bar and pizza. Giant checkers, fishing at the fort. Gold sorting there. Alligator and snakes over here. And this is the bike barn. There's the price list. Gem mining, kayak rentals. You can rent a kayak, 13 bucks for 60, 60 minutes, six zero. Canoe, bicycle, casting fishing gear, worms. And you can again do the fireworks cruise or guided bass tours. You can also do Segway tour here. Got cornhole over there. And Serenity now. And Chip and Dale's campfire sing along. So you have the chipmunks out here as well as movies under the stars. Tonight is Frozen 2. You go into this little area over here. There's also archery here. It's about $45 for 45 minutes, I think. 90 minutes. 90 minutes? There's some folks kayaking now. Mary is afraid of the kayak. I'm not afraid of the kayak. I'm afraid of things in the water. So close to the kayak. <laughs> <laughs> we dipped in the other store, and this one is actually considerably bigger. I have this really cool jersey. I love it. Smoky again. Only you. Ooh, they got a smoky coffee mug. I like it. And a little smoky mug. You can get frozen pizzas. Mickey's Cocoa. Check out the ears. Come across our other swimming pool. We came back to the campsite and I didn't realize we have this little stream running behind us. Again, with signs about alligators and snakes. None currently visible. Good work, visible. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of room. Be relaxing. Hoop de doo in another hour. Next up on our agenda for today is a trip back to Pioneer Hall. We're going back to the Hoop to Do review. We have not been here in years since pre-COVID. And I am anxious to tear into some of that food. We gotta do one more thing. We gotta get the bell rung. To do that, we have Emily all the way from Pittsburgh. A cheers, cheers and applause for her. We're headed in. And we are in the cheap seats here today. So there's three tiers. Three, there's three tiers of pricing, and we're in the third tier. Here we go. Must be in the front row. All right. This is our non zoom view of the show. We're up above. Not bad. Okay. Nobody else sitting with us, and we start off with slaw, salad, cornbread, barbecue sauce. And this is the menu, hooch salad and house-made cornbread, creamy coleslaw, cowboy beans, crispy fried chicken, pork ribs, mashed potatoes, cornbread crusted, mac and cheese, strawberry shortcake. And the beverages included Chardonnay or Merlot, Bud Light, Yingling, Red Sangria or White Sangria, or your non-alcoholic beverages. You can also do upcharge beverages here as well, the Giddy Up and local craft beers. When they give you your beverages, they give it to you in a mason jar and with like some reserve on the side. Check it out. They like, don't bother me for constant refills. But I'm like, I see that challenge and we'll meet it. Coming in to present a hand clapping foot 
Scotland show called the Hoop Do Review. We got chicken, we got ribs, we got mac and cheese, we got big beans. food. I'm not gonna show you guys shoving my face with food but the chicken is like boss level goat good. The ribs are okay. Everything is so much better than when we went to the rodeo roundup the other day or roundup rodeo in Toy Story Land. The food is unbelievable. I mean, the chicken, some of the best fried chicken I've had. There is a whole running thing here about more chicken when you come to this event but they asked do you have enough food? And I was like, I won't say no to another drumstick. And it gave me two more. And you know what? I'm gonna eat both of them. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
two of the prettiest songs going around today are about our home. No matter how far away you travel, the music of home stays with you. Ocean I long to see you all away, rolling river. Ocean I long to see you away. I'm bound away across the wide Missouri. Dessert is here, strawberry shortcake. Oh boy. out of the show and they are loading people up for a horse drawn ride the horses are thirsty the show and dinner is over that's got to be one of the top five experiences that you could do all together at Walt oh, Disney yeah. World I would the say top food five. is just <laughs> delicious the show is so good Whew, so good look at the wild turkey He looks delicious. <laughs> and we're back over here for the campfire sing-along. We're here to see a couple of chipmunks. And they're playing bingo right now. As they play bingo, Next number cast member is, is starting I up a fire 20. over there. The s'more stations have opened. Got a half an hour before the show actually starts, and it is. Packing in here. Well, how y'all doing? Usually, when the cowboy takes the stage for the show, there's a big round of applause. Yeah. And scream and cheer. Women rush the stage. Hey, take a shot. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for the nod of confidence over there. Yeah. So, here's what we're going to do. King of the Road is the song. We're going to try it together. Just a quick rehearsal. Everybody look around. Nobody here you know. Just 
let it out and sing. Where are you from right here? Brazil. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil. This is an evacuation. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, Brazil. If you could focus, it'll be great. Okay, here we go. show you what it was. If you can figure out what this activity is, I need y'all to scream it out in your loudest outside voice. Let's try it. All together? Keep it down. Show them what you guys did. But they're not very good. They were in the water all day, and uh, so it was kind of fishing, kind of golfing. Yeah, it was it was a mix. Either answer would have been correct, right? But here's something. It's a hot day. Chip said, "Cowboy John." What do you say? We head over to that saloon and get three ice cold root beers. So we stopped, tied the horses up, headed over to the saloon. You know, when one cowboy with two chipmunks is going into a saloon, you got to look a little bit tougher than you really are. So, Dale, show them how we went into that saloon. That's right. That's right. Kick the door right open. That's what we did. We get inside the saloon, went up to the bar. Three of the best root beers we've ever had. Ice cold, beautiful. Get ready to leave. True story. Get ready to leave. Saloon keeper came over and he put this big bowl of peanuts right in front of Dale's face. Dale, show him that face. Oh man, he was getting ready to eat those peanuts, but before he could, one of the pe one of these peanuts spoke to Dale. It's the truth. He talked to Dale. He said, Dale, I love your smile. It's a beautiful smile. I love that smile. We couldn't believe that a peanut could talk, so Chip called the saloon keeper back over. Said, what's the deal with these peanuts? He said, they're complimentary. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta can escape the crowd a little bit. Just rock. Like we're in front of yeah. <laughs> we used to rock and roll all night and party every day. <laughs> now we can just rock. <laughs> and then the clock fireworks are going off. It sounds like cannons. <laughs> Sunday morning, woken up by bird noises, time to shower up. Camp breakdown complete, took about 45 minutes. One last time through the comfort station, give you a little bit of a wrap up on this in a moment. All right, let's talk about the comfort stations real quick. The men's comfort station, I can just say, it's really not even up to par with what I would get if you were camping off-site at a regular campsite mm -hmm. 
The cleanliness is okay. The stench is horrible. <laughs> the showers, uh, the first one that I went into, and you'll appreciate this, I'm sure all men, <laughs> after you kind of disrobing and taking everything and getting ready, you go to turn the knob, it doesn't work. Not a drop of water. Pick half your stuff back up, go back in, second shower. There's a ton of somebody else's stuff there. A bag of chips that's been eaten, um, other garbage sitting around, clothes that are just sitting there like somebody took a shower and ran out. And then during the shower, nothing but nonstop like no CM type bugs. So really, you know, I went on the way in, I said to Mary, like, kind of odd that you don't have soap and shampoo. And she reminds you like, well, you're camping. But the thing is that years ago, or they stopped here um, giving you H2O type products to take home and they just have it in the regular mm -hmm. uh, hotel rooms, like, you know, in a bottle form that you push the button and it dispenses out. I can't see why they wouldn't do that here to allow people to just use shower soap or uh, yeah, shampoo stuff and stuff. Here. And in the women's room? Um, it wasn't as bad as that, but the one stall that I was in, the drain did not drain. So, you know, a couple of minutes in the shower, make sure you wear water It's shoes. become a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. So by the time we went over to the stables by Pioneer Hall yesterday, they were closed. And they close at 5 o'clock, in case you're wondering, and they open at 10. It's not 10 o'clock yet, and we have breakfast reservations before 10, so we're not going to get over there this morning. So over by where you can go for trail rides. And we've done this before, so I'll put a link to the video up above or down below. Trail rides are awesome. It's a guided trail ride. It's about 45 minutes. And uh, you get on the horse, they teach you how to maneuver the horse and ride the horse. And you go along the trail. There's no photos or videos along the trail in the ride itself, so you, you can do be it beforehand. Anyway. Yeah, it's uh, if for novices, it would be a little difficult, I think, to hold anything. But there's certainly like now for your safety. But here you go. Here's some horses that will be out on the trail later. Everyone kind of just waiting here, biding their time. Mm -hmm. Right across from the trail rise is where you get your buses to go to the theme parks here. So Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom over here, or Epcot rather. Here's some pictures of the old Fulton Wilderness Railroad that used to run through the campsites. The tracks are still here. And for those curious, Here's some of the leftover ties. All right, so for breakfast, we're over at Wilderness Lodge for Whispering Canyon Cafe. Certainly could have made something at the site, or we could have done quick service at the takeout, but I want to get my breakfast home. And this is a short drive from the campsites. <laughs> we didn't want to be authentically camping. <laughs> I'm going to sit and marvel at the lobby of the hotel while we wait. When we come to Whispering Canyon, we normally do the all-you-can-eat skillet with barbecue as the carnivore. It's delicious. We're doing the heritage for breakfast. And I am going to eat like, there's no tomorrow. 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 We've got honey, berries, butter, syrup, we have biscuits and potatoes, sausages and bacon and eggs and Mickey waffles. Breakfast was amazing, but before we get out of here, take a little look at the geyser. There she blows. There you go. 
that's gonna do it for our camping trip. If you're curious, that geyser goes off every hour on the hour at Wilderness Lodge. It's in between the Mole and Bay Lake off in the distance. That's gonna do it for us. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Camping returns in two weeks. We'll be walking to Rockville for five days straight. See ya.